Kevin, why, in your words, do you feel you had to bring in another quarterback? Yeah, I had to is, a, is a, your words, not mine. But I would say that uh, anytime you can add, um, you know, add a quality player at that position to the room, um, a guy that uh, has that kind of experience, really production for the 17 game started, um, have good relationships with some guys that have coached him. I know Kwesi uh, had a relationship uh, with him, obviously, from his time in Cleveland. Um, and then ultimately just, you know, the competition's going to go down to the very end here. And, uh, you know, that does not mean it always just stays the same. Sometimes we may feel the need to add a player at a position, not just quarterback, just to try to maximize what we're going to be this year um, as a football team and feel really good about all those guys in that room. And I know um, there's some plays we would certainly like to have back from, from Saturday, uh, but still a lot of positives coming out of the game for both Sean um, and Kellen and uh, have asked those guys to continue to progress on where they're at within the offensive system in the competition. And uh, we'll, we'll be able to sort that thing out when the time's right. But a chance to add a really good player was why we did it. Kevin, what are the factors in, in deciding how many quarterbacks you're ultimately going to keep on the 53 man? Yeah, I think there's a lot that goes into it, not necessarily always at that position. Um, a lot of it will have to do with uh, other position battles, uh, maybe where we've got some young players that we really like, uh, but might not be 100% ready to go. But at the same time, uh, you know, we're going to have to make some tough decisions across our roster, and quarterbacks no different. I feel very, very good about Kirk as our starter, and, and now we've got some decisions to make as we roll here and try to obviously get Nick activated quickly uh, while still seeing where uh, Sean and Kellen are at. Kevin, yeah, when did the idea of trading Nick Holland first across your desk, or what did you guys think about it? Yeah, I think it was it was recent for me, um, but as I said before, I credit Kwesi and his staff for, uh, you know, they're constantly, uh, not just at that position, but at all positions, just evaluating the league, evaluating all the preseason tape from around the league. Obviously, we had a chance to play those guys and see them in person, see Nick in person. Um, so I think, uh, you know, it's, it's very easy to highlight this, but there's daily conversations at all positions, uh, you know, with the intent of giving ourselves the best possible training camp uh, to find the best 53 we can to help us win this year. And um, that's exactly what we did at the, at the quarterback position. And, you know, we're going to see how that thing shakes out behind Kirk as our starter. If Mullins wins that competition, what's your confidence level since he hasn't been here that he'll be ready for week one? Yeah, my, my confidence level is high, Nick. Um, knowing the, knowing the, the type of people that have coached up there, their thoughts on him, um, I don't worry one bit about him getting ready to go from the standpoint of knowing our offense and the scheme and what we're going to try to do against Green Bay. Um, I think he'll be able to apply his experience. That's why it's important when you do make a move like that. It's for somebody that has some game experience, has, has, has taken some real live snaps um, to help him acclimate even faster. Um, and that's why we have Gerard and Chris O'Hara, Wes Phillips, myself. You know, we'll do everything we can, use every moment we're allowed to, to get him ready uh, you know, whenever he gets here.